so hard coming up here and making fun of people you like. Luckily, that won't be an issue tonight, so let's get this road started, huh? <laughs> Wolfgang 
smock. Look at you. It must be really easy to cook for people who don't criticize your food, Andrew. You taste funny. You upside down balloon. <laughs> Andrew, you're the only person I know that's in the shape of a drop of water. <laughs> you giant human sloth. <laughs> no, but Andrew, you're, you're a very funny comedian. I'd say that you're climbing the comedy ladder, but no one would ever believe that you could climb anything. <laughs> You have the heart of a star, my friend. And by that I mean, it's a big ball of gas just waiting to explode and die. Has it hurt yet? Uh, you know, a lot of people make fun of you for looking like Drew Carey, but that's just not true. Because Drew Carey isn't a fat piece of shit anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be nice. We're going on to James Bailey, I guess. Oh. Big round of applause for James Bailey. Funny, give it up. <laughs> James, you've been getting a lot of attention in the comedy world lately. Yeah, a lot of people have been calling him constantly. But it's mostly like, hey, James, can I get an eighth of drill? <laughs> Let's face it, James, if you didn't sell weed, you wouldn't be here tonight, you know what I mean? Come on. Oh, James. James has been working out, trying to uh, get that diabetes back in remission. Looks good. Now, I think he started working out once he realized that Steve Urkel is more intimidating as a black person than you. James is half black, which is such a great opportunity for a comedian to make funny black jokes and funny white jokes. Unfortunately, he hasn't done either. James. Come on. James Bailey loves the drunk ladies. In fact, the only thing Bailey hasn't taken advantage of is a minority scholarship for your future. Good God, look at this dance, everybody. Shots, okay. Happy birthday! Oh wait! Look at this Dennis! Oh my God! Wow, we got a Polish guy, an Irish guy, a black guy, and a Puerto Rican. I'll take people Hitler hates for three hundred dollars. <laughs> less testosterone in here than a knitting class. Good lord, look at you. I never thought a bald Pollock would be the smartest guy in the day. It's holy shit. The Tampa Bay comedy scene, ladies and gentlemen, take a good look. We won't be running any marathons anytime soon. I swear, this is less talent here than the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, it's a football joke. Okay, how about this? There's less talent here than an Asian NASCAR team. Thanks. Oh, man. Look at this day. Good lord. I wish the government would shut this rose down. Kyle Roos is here. Ladies and gentlemen. Zach Brown band with five losers surrounding him, so it actually might be the Zach Brown band. <laughs> oh, Kyle, you walking bobblehead, look at you. You've got a filthy mouth, man. In fact, your beard is the only thing that's dirtier than your mouth. Because it's dirty. <laughs> you foul mouth human garden gnome. You are so edgy, man. In fact, the only thing not edgy about you is the shape of your body. <laughs> Thanks. We've actually, we, me and Kyle, we've worked a lot together, and I can confidently say that 
You've grown as a comedian, Kyle. Granted, it was mostly in this region here, but you have grown. What happened to you? I know you're a Puerto Rican. Jeez, but you went from cholo to blowhole. Look at you. Good lord. Oh, Kyle. We actually gave Kyle a separate chair for his ego. <laughs> Kyle is a fantastic comedian. At least that's what he keeps telling me over and over and over again. <laughs> but now on to the man of the hour, Mick! Give it up for Mick, everybody! Come on! Wow, oh, Mick, 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 Mick. All right. Thanks for polishing your head to be here at the Rose tonight. Thank you. Mick, you are in great shape, man. You look good. You know, if all Polish people look like you, maybe Hitler wouldn't have taken that country over in two days. <laughs> hey. You're confusing me with France. Ah. <laughs> no, Poland's... Poland one, one, day, one day, one day, one day. Man, you're quite the ladies' man. I hear that you've ruined more women's futures than unexpected pregnancy. <laughs> Yes, but you're a big uh, Pittsburgh sports fan, is that right? You bleed black and yellow, which is ironic because those colors represent the races you hate the most. <laughs> Meg, you're into uh, guns and ammunition, but you don't need any of that stuff, man. James Bailey knows better to stay away from your house, God! You're a successful businessman, owner of Curtis Car Care, and president of Squirt Away. Woo! Yeah. You do realize that most of your clientele for Squirt Away are prostitutes and serial killers, right? You know that, right? In fact, his new slogan is, You'll get the smell of hooker out. Mick, uh, Mick is actually into the supernatural. Which is perfect, because Dave Hines is a comedy vampire. He sucks the life out of every comedy room. <laughs> and in fact, Andrew Silas is a ghost that can't float. without wearing one. That's like James Bailey working out after being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I mean, come on, man. You gotta get before that, jeez. Squirt away? More like throw your money away because a 99 cent air freshener will do the job. In fact, uh, actually, I saw your website. It's not the best, okay? Because he's in it. Yeah, that's true. Your website sucks. You put less effort into that website than black people put into their children's futures. You look offended. You look offended. But Mick, it's an honor to be here tonight roasting you. You're a very successful businessman and a great guy. And I got nothing but love and respect for you. You've been a great sport, man. Woo! Yeah.